Hello and welcome to the Pizza Kitchen. I'm your host Brian Hernandez and today we're going to show you guys how to make a New Haven style pizza in your homes or your restaurants. Now I'm not super familiar with this style of recipe but luckily enough we have a guest from PMQ's own backyard in Germantown, Tennessee, Mrs. Gail Chernitz. Hey Brian. Of Thanks Gail's Pizza me. Parties. So we're very excited to have you here. Now Gail hails from the northeast up in New Haven, Connecticut, yes. uh, New Haven County I believe, right? Yeah, yeah. So why don't you tell us a little bit about what denotes an actual New Haven style pizza? What are some of the characteristics people should look for? Great question. Um, one thing that you're going to look for is the crust is a thinner crust and it doesn't have a very wide brim around the edges. It's very thin, very structured, very light. Uh, it's easy to eat a whole clam pie, small pie, tomato pie, whatever by yourself because it's so light. Um, it's also not stretched out by hand but it's actually rolled. It's not tossed in the air. But what really denotes a New Haven style is cooking in a coal burn fired oven. And, and that's hard to get Unfortunately, you can't because yeah. they've been outnumbered, um, they've been overruled, so right. but denotes that is the delicious charcoal black okay. burnt stuff on the edges of the crust and underneath and the, the taste is, the flavor is amazing. So we can't actually do that today but we're going to approximate it as best that we can. Correct, yes. Alright, sounds good. Let's just jump right in. All right, so uh, what pie are you going to demonstrate for us? Oh, I'm going to do one of my favorites. It's inspired by Sally's, which is my favorite pizzeria, and it's just a plain tomato pie. Can't get enough of it. So light, thin, airy, and wonderful, and it's an abitz. It's not a pizza. Abitz. Okay, uh, I'm sorry. That's... <sighs> All right, so... For this Abitz, it's just like you said, less is more. There's not a whole lot going on here. No, and, no. And uh, uh, Sally's, is they're, they're one of the progenitors of this whole thing. They're one of the originals yes. from way back when. So. And from way back when, it sold for 50 cents a pie. Yeah, and I bet their profit margin was still 48 cents. Can you believe that? All right, so for this pie, I'm, uh, for this Abitz, we're going to need... A 12-ounce dough ball, cornmeal for dusting the peel, extra virgin olive oil, pizza sauce, and Pecorino Romano cheese. All right, so now we're ready to uh, make our pie. We've got our dough pressed out and uh, just hand pressed. Hand no pressed, tossing, rolled out. Yep, Nothing no fancy. tossing. All right, so what goes on first? Um, I'm going to continue with just using a little bit of olive oil on the crust. That just because it gives Just for color. It a... Okay. Yeah, color and a, a little more flavor. So the crust is not something you want to throw away. You're going to want to eat that. All right, that's it. All yeah. right. Some sauce. And this is like an East Coast th type of sauce that you've, this is your particular recipe this that we get. This is my recipe, okay. yep. What makes it East Coast is the, the dough and just the sauce and the Pecorino Romano. Okay. Now the sauce is, this is the tomato pie, so this is gonna be, this is your topping. That's my and topping. And your basing. And or your base some all. Parmesan cheese. Or, I'm sorry, not Parmesan. Uh, Pecorino Romano. Romano on my abits. 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 And then it goes. Top it off with a little bit of oil. All right, so for the tomato pie, the sauce is your base and your topping. Mm -hmm. And it's topped with just a little bit of Pecorino Romano, a little bit of drizzle of olive oil. So That's now it. we're going to put it in the oven for about, how hot and how about long? About 10 minutes, 500 degrees for about 10 minutes. Okay. All right. And there we go. Let's, Let's have a look. Oh my gosh. Looks amazing. All right, you can smell. Oh, you can uh, smell the salt. You, you, what you really get is the crust coming out of that oven. Mm -hmm. That's what you're smelling first. So, um, there's nothing but just tomato sauce and pecorino romano and some olive oil on this. That's just it. The, the basics. Correct. Pretty much how pizza started. So, yep. uh, all right, I'm done. Why don't we chop it up and uh, we'll get started? All right. All right, so here we go. We got a lot of coverage on some, got some red sauce, and look at a light and airy crust. We got some great crumb like structure. It. Beautiful, beautiful corner showing here. there. And then you, what you do is you take your fingers, you got smack, and you Scott fold. would be proud. Thank you, Scott. So here we go. So nothing but tomato sauce, pecorino romano, and olive oil. You know what I really taste is the tomato sauce. Mm -hmm. 
That was a joke. That's all that's on here, guys. <laughs> but it's so good. It's not only the base, it is a topping. Um, the, the recipe that you gave us, which you can actually find underneath this video, um, is great. There's a lot of spices and, and, and flavors in there mm -hmm. that actually help bring it out to where that's all you need. And then the light dusting of Pecorino Romano. Mm -hmm. Who doesn't like love a little bit of cheese on top right, of the pie? Right, right. Well, that's all the time we have in the pizza kitchen today, guys. I want to thank our special guest, Gail Chernitz of Gail's Pizza Parties in Germantown, Tennessee, for coming down here and showing us what it means to make a New Haven-style pizza. Thank you so very much, Gail. Thank you for having me here, Brian. Absolutely. You're welcome anytime. Also, if they want to find out about Gail's Pizza Parties, where can they find you guys? They can find me on the internet, www.gailspizzaparties.com. There you have it. Find her there. Find us at pmq.com. We'll see you next time, but until then, keep those ovens lit.